Hello, everyone. <laughs> How are you today? Good lunch? Good weather? Umbrellas not needed? Thank you for that, right? I'm really glad to be here. As Melanie mentioned, my name is Robin. I come from Ireland. And I believe by now some of you are wondering where my accent comes from. And it's very easy. I, uh, I was born here, but I grew up in Brazil and came back to live here after I became an adult. So the accent came with me. So to make it short, I'm an American with an accent. <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, I will be presenting um, the survival kit for each one of us, because we are definitely all heroes, right? Can I have the next slide, please? When I started uh, preparing this presentation, the first thing that came in mind was who was my hero? Who has been the example into my life? And my grandfather came in mind. He was a pastor in Brazil for 42 years, retired as the president of the union. And the characteristics I saw in him growing up was being a hardworking, energetic, responsible, organized, very knowledgeable, and a self-started. Uh, these are very important qualities in heroes because this is what people look in us as leaders. So can I have the next slide? We have different types of superheroes. We have the ones from Marvel's comic books, and some of them have pretty interesting uh, type of leadership, and they come up with uh, very interesting statements. As a matter of fact, my son uh, finished high school last year, and it was very interesting because uh, one of the capstones project that he had to graduate was to write about a superhero, and he picked Captain America, and uh, Link, to our Christian values. So what part in capital, Captain America should be applied for us as Christians? And it was a very challenging and interesting project. So uh, for the conservative people, uh, the reason why I brought the Marvel leaders and their statements, uh, there is a reason for it, so bear with me. And for the more liberal ones, it's pretty cool, right? <laughs> so if we change for the next uh, slide, we will then be able to see the difference that we find in our Bible heroes and what they really value and what really stands behind their mission and the plan God had for them. So as you can see, just on these few heroes I picked, we have strong statements that definitely can be applied in our lives every single day. I don't need to go over, you all can read, so uh, that's why I gave you a few minutes to go over. Can I have the next slide, please? I found this very interesting, and I really don't want you to become overwhelmed with the amount of items that are required to be a superhero in today's life. But um, most of what is listed there will be covered here today being a superhero, either Christian or no, not Christian. These are personal qualities and, and, and issues that we should take a close look and work on them. Don't be overwhelmed though, because that's why I'm here today, okay? So finally, that's why I did all this for, to get to the point. Um, we had to use several examples, okay? We got examples from the comic books, we got people from the Bible to make statements of qualities that us as superheroes, as leaders, must have in order to succeed. But let's face it, we are only one person. So it's a full package for one person, so it's not easy. That's why we came up with you can change the slide, please. A hero survival kit. What is this for? Well, we all have our good and bad days, right? And uh, in those bags, they're under your chair. So it will be under your chairs. You will find different items 
that can be applied or used to different situations you face on your daily lives. I also want to mention that uh, every day we work, every day we deal with our personal life or our children, husbands, wives, co-workers, we have teamwork uh, challenges. And today we, we had some too. Uh, we had to replace some of the items on your bags and uh, you have a list of items, but I just want to point out that um, the glue stick has been replaced by the paper clips. And I'm going to use that as an example. It's put in your survival kit to remind you that leaders hold the team together. I also made sure to mention a Bible verse that is directly connected to the item you need for a specific situation. So we have chocolate kiss, harsh kisses, because everybody has bad days, and chocolate is definitely the best therapy possible. <laughs> Um, we also have uh, one of my favorites, an eraser, because first of all, God doesn't judge us by our mistakes. He loves us no matter what, and the eraser is to remind us as leaders that we all do them, and we all should to erase, keep going, and start all over again. Another item that is listed, um, it's uh, the lollipop, and uh, we replaced with the chocolate kiss that I mentioned before. Can we? Uh, but I uh, want to alert all of you that uh, the kit has side effects. And yes, bad ones. <laughs> if you don't keep your eyes in Jesus and you forget that he has a plan for you, none of the items here will work. So we need always to put ourselves, no matter what, for good or bad, into God's hands and really go with whatever his plans are for us. And I also want to mention the Bible is our main source of power. We can find our powers, our superpowers from his word. My favorite book, the book of Proverbs you can find a lot of good stuff there. So I pray that we all keep our ministries alive and keep also in mind that Jesus is the real superhero in our lives. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen.